Welcome to session number one of Trauma and Sleep, focusing on sleep hygiene. So you've been through something horrific and now all of a sudden it's really hard to go to sleep. And when you do get to sleep, you have those nightmares of the horrible thing that happened. So not only are you exhausted and emotionally on edge the next day, but the nightmares kind of scare you out of even wanting to go to sleep. So then you're in this destructive cycle of not wanting to go to sleep, even though that's what your body needs every single night to keep going. What do you do about that? And what is the connection between loss of sleep and this horrible thing that happened. I'm Dana Hicks, a licensed clinical mental health counselor, and I have some information about the connection between trauma and loss of sleep, as well as tips to help you fall asleep and to help those nightmares. So, first of all, the connection between trauma and loss of sleep. Well, if you've been through something traumatic, then your brain often gets stuck in what's called survival mode, which is your brain being very, very alert of all that is happening so that it can keep you safe, defend itself and survive. Okay, so that's why it's really, really hard to fall asleep sometimes. Also, the nightmares. The nightmares come because the situation that you went through, the brain is studying it and studying it and studying it for any type of clue, any detail that is going to help prevent that situation from happening in the future. So that's why that situation keeps coming up, even in the middle of your dream. So what do we do about that? How do we help ourselves relax enough to fall asleep? Because we know that the body needs sleep. That's one of our basic needs is sleep. So in order to relax, it's helpful to not have any caffeine after 12 o'clock p.m. Also, it is helpful to two to three hours before you go to sleep, try to not look at any screens because the light from screens like TV, phone, computer, any of that, is going to stimulate your brain and wake it up actually rather than calm it down. Engaging in a stretching, relaxing yoga routine might be helpful as well as listening to guided meditation and drinking sleepy tea. Okay, so that's going to help you relax. In order to prevent nightmares, it's helpful to when you wake up from a nightmare, talk it out with someone or write it out and substitute the ending of the nightmare with a happy ending. Each time you have a nightmare. Write out that specific nightmare with a happy ending. When it's time to go to bed, read that. Read it through. Remind yourself of that positive ending. And that often helps nightmares lessen. To review, the connection is that your brain is really trying hard to keep you alive. It's stuck in survival mode. So it's staying alert in order to 
know what's happening so that it can defend you. Also, the nightmare keeps coming up because that situation is stuck in your brain because the brain is working on it so hard, looking for any kind of detail that would help prevent that situation from happening in the future. So, things that help. No caffeine after 12 o'clock p.m. No screens two to three hours before you go to bed. Guided meditation, stretching, relaxing, yoga routine. Hot bath could help too, to relax. Then, for nightmares, when you wake up, write a different ending to the nightmare. And then, when it's time to go to bed, read that nightmare to yourself with the happy ending. That often helps to reduce nightmares. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below.